Hey everybody! Today, hold on a minute, gotta stir up the stuff on the bottom. Got myself a hazy beer, it's called by Captain Dynamite IPA. It's actually, I got it at MM Beer and he posted it on a Facebook thing, Captain Everything. He put a, a piece of tape over the dynamite and put everything on it. I thought it was really cool. Thanks Bob, you're cool. Voodoo Ranger. Captain Dynamite IPA. It is 7.7% alcohol by volume, and I did a beer review of this already. It is very good. It's a murky, hazy beer, but that's why you're not here. I have in my hand 23 things of stuff that I do not get. Thought I was going to say stuff. All right. Now, this, 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 it's just maybe i'm not understanding it maybe i'm just looking too much into it i don't know it, it's kind of a gripe session a little bit too you know anyway number one timeshares okay there's a radio show commercial uh, not radio show commercial a radio commercial talking about this guy who had a timeshare he can get you out of your timeshare now wait that's a contract now all of the bad things that people have been saying over the years about timeshares. Everybody heard timeshares are bad, are bad, are bad. That's all you hear. And you still sign up for it? That's 2021? You know, and you're still signing up for timeshares? Maybe you deserve it, you know? I don't I don't get why people are still signing up for that crap. Ugh. All right, um, I had another radio commercial. I heard um, uh, this couple was like, uh, our credit cards are maxed out and we have no money. You know, oh, we can call this one, one this number and we can get up to $5,000 or $3,000. I was like, wait a minute, your, your credit cards are maxed out. You can't even pay your credit card bills. So you're gonna take a loan out and it's going to be even more money you have. you're going to take it out. Say your, say your credit cards are maxed out at $2,000 and you can get $3,000 from here. You're going to get that $3,000 and make your bill even bigger. Why don't use credit cards? I don't have, I have a credit card, but it's for emergencies only. There's nothing on it and I've had it for about a year now. I you know about six months now. I don't even use it. But it's, why use a credit card? Don't use credit cards. It's the worst thing you could do. 24% interest. So every dollar, you're paying another, you know, say, you might as well say 25% interest. You're paying a quarter for every dollar you're paying. So if you buy something for 100 bucks, it's gonna cost you 125 bucks. It's, it's to, a credit card, the only good thing about it is if you use your credit card and boom, you pay it off at the first of the month. That's smart. I don't use credit cards. Anyway, but they're gonna they're gonna take more money out to pay the you're gonna consolidate it. No, you're not. No, you're not. Anyways. Okay, you walk into a subway and you order a spicy Italian. Alright. My my wife did this. She walks in there, she says, I want a spicy Italian foot long. The guy starts making it, and he starts making the wrong one. She just told this kid, spicy Italian, he starts making, making a wrong one, and he goes, oh, my bad, and he stops, and he starts making the right one. You know what I would have done? I would have let him, let him do that, and I would have said, I'm not paying for that. I ordered a spicy Italian, and you made this whatever. Go make me a spicy Italian. Or you just, you know, you, I'm not paying for it. And just walk out. It's just, and you want $15 an hour? Well, if you give us $15 an hour, well, we'll do a better job. No, you can't do the job now. You're not worth what you're getting paid now. So $15 an hour is, hit the road, Jack. Anyway. Ah. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um, all right, what do I got here? What do I, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Ford commercials. All right, they say they they call it the the Echo, the Ford the Echo. Now, now wait a minute. I maybe I'm not. 
Is it echo or is it eco? For e eco e ecology, ecosystem, isn't it eco? On the side of it, it's not E-C-H-O, echo. I think it's eco. Why do they say echo? I, I, I don't know. The new uh, eco or echo, it's not echo, it's E-C-O. It's not E-C-H-O. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, this, I don't know if you ever noticed this. In Ohio, we have a, a Bureau of Motor Vehicles or a Department of Motor Vehicles. You go down there and get your license plates and your, your license and stuff. We walk in there. There must be at least 150 lights in this damn thing. And 90% of them, or probably 80% of them, aren't even working. Why do they have so many damn lights in this place? I mean, it's like they're the pot lights that fit up in the ceiling. Like, it, there's got to be at least 150 of them up there. Why do they need so many lights? They're never on. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you when you go to the dentist. You know, checking your teeth out and stuff. And he, when was the last time you went to the dentist? Or you've been to the dentist? Why? What the? What difference? What difference does that make? If, if, I, if I tell you, oh, I was a, last week, five years ago. What difference does it make? You're still gonna ridicule me, or whatever. You know, you can go in. You can. You can probably just come from a dentist to get your teeth cleaned, and go in there. It's just. When you've been to the dentist, oh, I, I don't know, I can't remember. Is it is it bad? Uh, eh, 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 eh? It was like, yeah, yeah, you got a lot of tartar. And I was like, hey, I just got the damn things clean down the street yesterday. I don't, but I don't, I don't see what difference does it make. Why are you asking that question? I, I don't know. I, I, oh well. Anyways, uh, now this, 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 this kind of is one of my pet peeves. All right, you go into Walmart. You got, or, or a, a Kroger, or a Giant Eagle, or whatever you have out in your, like a big store, and they got the self-checkouts, all right? Then they always have one person sitting there, you know, to help you check out, all right? If I'm buying beer, and I'm at the self-checkout, I scan it, it's the only thing I have. Where's the person helping me? They're helping somebody check out. I, I, was, I was buying something, and I'm waiting for this person to, to, to help me to, to authorize this sale. They're over here at a self-checkout. The guy could do it himself. She's checking it out for him. I, why? Why? You should be doing, paying attention to other stuff, man. When people need you, don't, don't, no. It, Go to a register by yourself and check people out and have somebody else do your job if you can't do it. The guy knows how to do that. He, he was doing it. I was like, I don't know. What are you, an idiot? Oh, that's good. Anyway. Uh, people who don't like cabinet doors. You might be one of them. You, now... Some of them plates and stuff up there, probably up there for a while, you don't use them as often. Do you have to wash them before you use them? Because dust gets on that stuff. I'd, I, I'd want cabinets on the doors on the cabinets. I wouldn't want to eat, eat off of dust. I mean, not that you're dirty, but it dust does float. Okay. Uh, it, 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 here's another one. It, prescriptions for erectile dysfunction. Now, I heard this commercial. And they say, if, if you're embarrassed to talk to your doctor about erectile dysfunction, you know, call this number. You could talk to a doctor or whatever or online or something because you're embarrassed to talk to your doctor. He's a doctor. You know, <laughs> what are you going to do for a prostate exam? <laughs> do it yourself? <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, I got to... I gotta check for a hernia. Well, <coughs> you know, what? We, I, he's a doctor. Come on. Jeez. Anyway, you got erectile dysfunction. I'm afraid to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, um, at the ADA, American Dental Association, they have it on some toothpaste, like Crest 
or Colgate, but then the same brand, but a different one, it doesn't have that. I asked the dentist that, and she looked at me, she goes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She, she didn't even know. I don't know. It's like, so, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. The people use two cameras in a shoot. Two, two cameras. Okay, they're looking at this one. They're talking. Then they have one off to the side, and it cuts to them talking to this one. Why? Why don't you look at that camera and talk to it instead of just looking at this camera and, and it's, it's, it's taking a shot from the... I don't know. Having a camera over here, having a camera over here, getting it from the side, talking. It's like when you're walking in a store, someone says, Hey, good morning, how are you doing? They probably get mad if, you, if I don't respond. Did you ever think that the person could be deaf? Oh, that guy's an idiot. I said good morning to him and he didn't respond. Anyways. Uh, listen, literally. Ambulance drivers. Their bubble gums going, their sirens screaming, they're they're going down the road doing a speed limit. Well you, dude, you go. There's nobody in front of you. I see it all the time. You can get if the speed limit is 45, you can get behind them doing 45. Maybe 50 tops. They're not going any faster than that. It I mean, I'd be screaming down the road, man. Anyways. It, it, commercials for 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 products a fresh cracked egg or a hand cut steak now does it matter if it's hand cut or machine cut does it matter that, like you you hear it in a commercial for a breakfast sandwich oh it's a fresh cracked egg like like all the other restaurants are cracking eggs and letting it sit there for like three hours before they cook it <laughs> I, 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 I didn't get it that one time where uh, Buffalo Wild Wings advertised and I emailed them, I asked them, hand spun wings, hand spun wings. All it is is they put them in a bowl, they put the sauce in there and they spin them in a bowl. That's all it is. It, it's these what, adjectives, adverbs or whatever they're, they're script describing what they hand cracked. It's like a, a, a golden, hot, crispy, you know, delicious, awesome hash brown. You know, <laughs> knock it off. Just give me a damn half, bro. I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah, interviews. When when people are putting interview interviews in podcasts on the radio, or or court on TV, how come they suck? You can't understand a damn thing the person's saying. The only person who understands what it's, uh, they're saying is the person doing the interview. You know, whenever you listen to a podcast, they always have like an interview between a police officer and an interrogation room, and you can't understand a damn thing they're saying. Why do you even put it in a podcast? Why do you even... Don't know. It's just horrible. Okay, radio commercial saying that if you have these symptoms, talk to a doctor online, in person, or by phone. Why? You know what he's going to do? He's going to say, well, you better get to the hospital. Every time. Every time. Every time. You, you better get to the hospital. Um, uh, now, is it worth reporting on the news? Gas prices are up five cents this month compared to last month. Is it really worth reporting five cents I mean most people aren't spending hundred and fifty dollars in gas it's gonna make a difference five cents I wouldn't care if it was five cents if the, the if I go to a if I go to some people might not me but if I go to a, a if there's a, a what do you call it gas station that's it gas station here and across the street and I go to this one and across the street it's five cents cheaper I'm still going to the one I go because when I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend ten dollars. That's what the hell is the math here? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, fifty cents. Fifty cents. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna, it's not worth fifty cents. Not worth the headache. Anyways, um, okay, we have a county sheriff. Now this. 
I don't think mental health is a problem as big as they say it is. I just think people are getting soft. That's all. But um, it, it's like, oh, I got a flat tire. My anxiety is going through. You're full of crap. Get it. Just make a phone call and get the damn thing fixed. Anyways, we have a local sheriff in a, in a neighboring county talking about one in five people are suffering from a mental health problem. So you need to tell me you have at least five or six people in your, your department that shouldn't be carrying a gun or shouldn't be a cop or a sheriff? Now you mean you get, get five of your guys there, you mean one of them guys, they shouldn't be carrying a gun. You get five politicians, you know, that's five and five are, are suffering from mental problems right there. But, you know, they, 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 I, that's why I don't, I, I don't think mental health problems, illness, whatever, isn't as prevalent as it say it is. You know, one in five? You mean, you're walking in a store and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's ten. There's two people that are probably nuts. Yeah, you're suffering from whatever, you know. I always stub my toe, you know, whatever. Um, uh, if, if I see people do this too, and, and TV shows, and or mostly on, I, I watch the morning news, and this girl on the morning news does the, did this, and I was like, why do people, even in TV shows, like, like uh, I don't know, TV shows, you look at they don't have any curtains or blinds in their windows. No curtains, no blinds, no nothing. No no window treatments in a square box. And you got you probably got some stalkers sitting out there, you know, looking, you know, like what the, some murderers that crouch in your yard through the you're looking out you through the woods. Why don't people have blinds or windows or curtains or something? Gosh, you gotta have that, man. You a Bigfoot looking in your place, man. You know what he is doing. Anyways. Now, here's another one. Why do they advertise on a radio station about podcasts? Now, isn't, aren't you, so you want people to listen to this podcast other than your radio station. You, aren't you shooting yourself with a foot? You're going to you're lose listeners if you, if you give them something else. Why don't you just advertise for the neighboring, the competitor's radio station? Hey, they're better over there. you got to listen to them. Go to a podcast. Don't listen to our crap. Go listen to a podcast. Go listen to my podcast. Anyways, all right, um, a legal disclaimer.